Welcome to this week's Unmanned Tactical Group and Pilot Institute's Public Safety UAS News Update. This week we're going to talk about Law Enforcement Drone Association's training conference they just wrapped up up in Nashville. We're going to talk about Autel's new drop system that they created uh, for the Max 4T. And we're going to wrap up for our agency highlight with Hardin County Sheriff's Office up in Kentucky where they use an M300 as a distractionary device on a high risk tactical operation. It's going to be a real fun webcast. Let's dive in. First up. Law Enforcement Drone Association just wrapped up an outstanding conference up in Nashville. This is the best hands-on scenario-driven training conference I've ever attended. They had these all over the country. They have their national conference coming up in September. So if you are a law enforcement pilot, I highly, highly recommend you attend one of these regional trainings or the national training coming up. Um, we discussed multiple different topics during the conference. Some of those topics included drone as first responder operations, tactical entry operations. We talked about search and rescue from a disaster response perspective. We even dived a little bit into counter UAS investigations uh, for those nefarious drone operations that may be going on in your jurisdiction. Uh, what's also great about it is there's also breakout sessions. They even talked a lot about supervisor tracks and we, they talked about what's better, Part 107, public aircraft operations. Do you need both? Crash crime scene reconstruction. Uh, and then they also had actual hands-on scenarios that you could go and fly and learn best practices and figure out how other agencies are doing it. Uh, it's one of the best conferences out there to, to get that hands-on experience and networking all in one awesome location. What's also great about the Law Enforcement Drone Association Conference is 118 pilots, 118, got certified to the Law Enforcement Drone Association's NIST standard. Uh, so there we're trying to maintain the best practices across the country on all pilots are meeting the minimum requirements of pilotage uh, for law enforcement responses. Uh, outstanding work, Law Enforcement Drone Association. I can't wait to make it to the next one. Next up, we have the Autel drop system was just debuted on Facebook uh, with John McBride at one of the uh, conferences that he was headed out to. They have a drop system designed by Autel that plugs directly into the Max 4T. This system has four different payload drop systems, or you can drop all of them simultaneously. This will be a really cool system to start testing and take a look at, see what its max payload capability might be. Uh, this could be a game changer in the for, for all of the Autel users that are wanting to utilize a payload drop system for uh, moving a, a flotation device out to a distressed swimmer or dropping in a cell phone or a first aid kit to a uh, for a welfare concern or a lost hiker. Uh, game changer for Autel, uh, Autel pilots out there. Really excited to see how this drop system is going to play out. Uh, outstanding work Autel. Looking forward to, uh, to that system. For this week's agency highlight, we're going to highlight Hardin County Sheriff's Office up in Kentucky. Earlier this month, uh, the deputies were dispatched to a, a man with a rifle call. Uh, while en route, once they got close to the suspect, the suspect immediately started shooting at the officers and nearby civilians. Uh, the suspect eventually retreated into a residence where he barricaded. Their special response team or SRT team ended up going to uh, that scene where they also called out their drone team. The drone team utilized a DJI M300 running the H20T payload. Uh, utilizing that drone, they were able to locate the suspect, track his movements from inside the house and into the garage. Anytime they tried to move around ground personnel, they also watched him start shooting at any of those officers moving around. Uh, so what they ended up doing was utilizing that drone to provide ground personnel valuable inter information on the ground so that they knew when it was safe to maneuver or not safe to maneuver. Eventually, they utilized that drone as a distractionary device, which is some outstanding work. This, this system is a tool. It's not designed to just always be safe and, and uh, not sometimes it's going to end up getting taken fire. Um, so what ended up happening was that suspect did exactly that. He turned his AR-15 towards that drone and he started sending rounds at the drone. The drone ended up taking on five shots. Um, it eventually did go down, but during that time, they were able to position ta their tactical team in a position that was safe for them. Uh, and that eventually led to the safe apprehension of that individual. 
He is now taking multiple felony charges for a myriad of things to include attempted murder, um, attempted murder of a, a peace officer, the deputy that was immediately taking rounds, and he's also getting the felony uh, federal charge for taking down an aircraft. Um, we'll see how the DOJ handles this case. It'll be an interesting one to follow. Hopefully they uh, do follow through for this, uh, for this event. Uh, because that that needs to be known you, you can't be shooting down drones with an ar-15 especially in, if, when this is a public safety event um so this will be a good one to watch outstanding work harris county sheriff's office and the deputies that were flying those drones i'm glad this incident ended up safely uh, with a safe apprehension of the suspect outstanding work that wraps up this week's pilot institute and unmanned tactical groups public safety uas news update uh Thanks for following on this one. This was a fun little uh, this little webcast to do this week. Um, I'm looking forward to the next one. Pay attention to Unmanned Tactical Group's webpage. We have a lot of upcoming courses going on all over the United States. If you don't see one in your region, reach out to us. We would love to come to your agency and to host a class. Uh, so please reach out to us for that. Also, we're building out more and more online courses. Uh, so go to our webpage as well. Take a look at our upcoming courses that we have for online portals. Uh, we're going to be hosting those both through Pilot Institute uh, and through our website. Uh, so don't hesitate to uh, head over to there and we'll have some of those classes on demand. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks.